Here's what we're talking about. What is the truth? This is a question I want to ask. What is the truth for those who are in debt? And I'm not talking about a financial debt, but I'm talking about like a, like a social debt, something gone wrong. What's the truth for those who are in debt? And what's the truth for those who have debtors? You know, all of us go through things in life, right? Some of you have gone through a lot of struggle, a lot of pain, a lot of deep betrayals, a lot of hurt, right? And all of us have done a lot of wrong things too. You know, it's like you, not only have you received those things, but some of us have done those things to other people. You've hurt people, you've lied to people, you've betrayed them. Some of you have been abused and some of you have abused. But what is the truth for you? What is the message from God's word? Here it is. It's in Matthew chapter 18. This is the truth for debtors. Jesus said this in Matthew chapter 18, starting with verse 23. He said, For this reason the kingdom of heaven may be compared to a king who wished to settle accounts with his slaves. And when he began to settle them, one who owed him 10,000 talents was brought to him. So there's this man that owed the king 10,000 talents. It's a lot of money, right? Ten, a talent in biblical terms is 75 pounds worth of a, an item. So one talent is 75 pounds. So it could have been like 75 pounds of silver, 75 pounds of gold. This person owed 75 pounds times 10,000. What's that? Like 750,000 pounds <laughs> of silver, 750,000 pounds of gold. If you put it in today's currency, this person owed the king millions, millions of dollars. But it says this, here's the hope, here's a beautiful part, my sister, it says this. It says in verse 25, Matthew 18, 25, but since he did not have the means to repay his Lord, the Lord, the Lord commanded him to be sold along with his wife and children. But the slave fell on the ground and prostrated himself before him saying, have patience with me, I will repay you everything. And the Lord of that slave felt compassion and released him and forgave him his debt. Brothers and sisters, what's the truth for those who are in debt? You and I, we got relational debts to the people around us. Maybe you owe your children something. Maybe you owe your parents something. Maybe you owe friends something. You betrayed them, you hurt them, you abused them. You got so much weight, so much baggage that you can never pay it back. And no matter what you do, you can never pay it off. But here's the truth, the beautiful truth from God's word. God can forgive you. God can cancel your debt. The one that you have truly offended isn't really your kids. It isn't really your wife, your husband, your family. The one you have truly offended is God himself. That's the one that is most offended by our sin, by our evil, by our betrayals. But God says this. He says, I love you. I see you. I know that you can never repay the debt. I know that you can never repay the things that you've done. You can't fix it. You can't make it right. But I can forgive you. And God sent his son, Jesus Christ, to pay a debt we could never owe. When Jesus spread his arms wide and shed his blood and gave his life, he was paying your debt. He was paying my debt. Y'all, I have sinned. I'm a pastor, but I'm not perfect. I've done a lot of wrong things. I'm a broken man, but I found hope in Jesus Christ. And because Jesus paid the blood, he gave his life. I have found forgiveness. You can find forgiveness too. Unforgiveness is like drinking poison. <laughs> Living in unforgiveness, it's like drinking poison. When you are unforgiven, when you walk around with that heaviness on you, when you keep having flashbacks of the things that you did, when you keep thinking about your sin, when you keep remembering that child or that friend or that stuff, you have to find forgiveness. You have to receive forgiveness in your heart and God is offering it to you today. The Lord is speaking to you right now. He says, you can be forgiven. What did the slave have to do? All he had to do is, is, is fall on his knees. All he had to do is come humbly and say to the king, I know that I, give me time, forgive me, have mercy on me. The slave wanted to repay him, but you can never repay. You just have to ask for forgiveness, for mercy, and God will forgive you through his son, Jesus Christ. So number one, this is for you. This is for you that have done wrong. This is for you that have sinned. We have all sinned. Find forgiveness. Plead for God's mercy. Ask Him for help. Ask Him to let the, cancel those debts. You don't have to carry that stuff. You don't have to remember those things. You don't have to hold it over your head anymore. And other people might try and shame you and put it back on you, but you give it to God. You beg for His mercy and He sends the blood. He forgives you. He will wash you clean. 
And you can let that go in your heart too. So number one, find forgiveness. But number two, now this is for now this is for you. Now what do you do? This is for those who are in debt. When you're in debt, you got to find forgiveness from God. Now what do you do for those people that are in debt to you? Here's what happens in the rest of the parable. The king forgives this guy, and the guy's like, yeah, I'm free. He's excited probably, but he goes out in the marketplace, and as he's in the marketplace, he finds someone who owes him a small amount, okay? We'll say this guy owed billions of dollars, but he finds a guy who owes him a hundred denarii. That's like a hundred days wages. It's in verse 28. That's like a hundred days wages, okay? So what's a hundred days wages? I don't know, maybe like 15,000, 20,000, a significant amount of money, but nothing compared to what he owed. And it says he goes out in the marketplace, he finds this person who owes him 15,000 bucks, and he starts choking this dude out. He's like, pay me back what you owe me. How many of us are like that? Have you ever been forgiven, but then you didn't forgive someone else? Have you ever received God's mercy, but then you felt angry with the people that hurt you? He chokes this guy out and the other servants are like, wait, how could he choke him out? Didn't he just get forgiven like a billion dollars? How can he go and hold this guy accountable for what he owed him when he forgave his all the debts of this man was forgiven? And so these servants go back and they tell the king and they're like, hey, king, that guy that you forgave a million dollars is choking this dude out for 15,000. What's going on with that? And the king brought back that servant and he said, you wicked servant, I forgave you all of your debts. How could you not forgive the person that was in debt to you? And that servant was, was sent to the torturers and he was committed to prison until he paid back that great debt. And Jesus said, so it will be done to you if you don't forgive your brother from your heart. Here's my message to y'all. God loves you. God loves you so much. He's willing to forgive you. He's willing to cancel your debt. There's nothing too big. There's nothing too dark. There's nothing too evil that God can't forgive through the blood of his son, Jesus Christ. But here's the second part. As you receive the forgiveness of God, receive it today. Receive it today. Receive God's forgiveness. And then you go and do the same. And then you go and forgive those people. Unforgiveness is like poison. And it's poisonous to be unforgiven. And it's poisonous to unforgive. We'll put it that way. It's poisonous to live a life where you are not forgiven. And it's poisonous to live a life where you don't forgive others. Unforgiveness is like drinking poison and expecting the other person to die. And so you have to receive forgiveness for what you have done. And then those things that have been done to you, even those dark things, those hard things, that abuse, that sexual perversion, that physical violence, that betrayal, those lies, all those dark things, that divorce, that adultery, whatever it is, you have to forgive. And if you hear me right now and you're like, Pastor Samuel, I cannot forgive what was done to me. You don't know what happened to me. It was darker than you can imagine. You cannot forgive on your own strength. You can never forgive because you whip it up in your heart. But if you have been forgiven and God has imparted his forgiveness to you, he has empowered you to forgive others. He has empowered you to forgive others. So listen to me. Be forgiven. Receive the free gift. Repent. Turn from your sins. And receive the free gift of salvation. Believe in Jesus. Seek him. Walk after him with all your strength. Be in the word. Be in prayer. Be in church. Be forgiven and follow Jesus. And then forgive those. Forgive those who have hurt you.